So this is now the final vlog of the 2018-2019 season. Thanks for everyone that's contributed and joined in following there on the Facebook and the new YouTube channel. We're here this evening at the Talbot Athletic Ground, home of Premiership side Aberavon RFC, for the inaugural final of the District D plate competition between Brincathin RFC of 3B West Central and the newly crowned champions of Division 3A West Central who beat our hosts Pyle from last week uh, there on Saturday, Bridgen Sports. Now, most would say that Bridgen Sports are perhaps the overwhelming favourites for tonight's game, but this perhaps has been the year of the underdog where we've seen uh, Division 2 Porth call in the Cup final of this very competition, defeating Division 1 Skewin RFC up in my stakes for Sevens ground. And last Saturday, of course, Nanti Fachlon, also of Division 2, defeating the newly promoted Division 1 winners, Asclavera, albeit a depleted Vera side there, to win the prestigious Glamorgan Silver Ball competition. So, is it going to be Bryn Kethin's night tonight, or will it be Bridgen Sports again for the double? Find out on Gumpy's Grassroots Roundup. We're joined now on the vlog by Bridgen Sports coach and captain Sean and Devs. Thanks for joining us on the vlog, gents. If I could uh, start with you, Sean, there as coach. Now, obviously, a massive game on Saturday to clinch the title there against Pyle. Uh, you're going into tonight's game now as overwhelming favourites, some might say. How would you manage to keep uh, you know uh, the boys focused on the job at hand? Uh, to be honest, with you, it's not a problem with us. Um, got a great bunch of boys there. Um, couple of fresh faces from Saturday, um, been with us all season obviously, uh, played in the semi-final this uh, round as well, so we stuck with them, we said to the boys, you know, you call us to the final, you'll be there with it, you know, for the final as well. Um, we had a couple of disappointments already this year, we got the semi-final of the bowl, um, got knocked out to Oakdale, uh, we thought that would be hard to pick the boys up, but they came back training Tuesday, Thursday, next week on the Saturday, <coughs> come away with a W, I mean, I've looked back since to be honest, so... As soon as getting these boys up, they do it themselves, to be honest. Brilliant, fantastic. Up, it's really going well for you this season. I have a turn to you as captain now, Devs. Yeah. Going for the League and Cup double tonight, my friend. Can you put it into words how proud you must be of this group of boys? Oh, to be honest, I can't take all the credit. Um, Greg Thomas, our normal uh, senior captain, he's not here tonight, so I've just uh, taken over the rings. Um, but to be honest, on a personal note, been extremely proud to be involved in this club this season. It's been absolutely outstanding. Coaches, committee, everyone. Should be really, really proud, especially them boys. Well, good luck for tonight, boys, and uh, all you. the best for uh, next season as well. Thanks, Cheers. Thank Cheers. You, boys. Thank you. Cheers. So, we're joined now on the vlog by Brinkethin Clubman Paul. Thanks for joining us on the vlog, Paul. Welcome. And uh, if I could just uh, ask you a quick question now. I know there's been a strong emphasis on bringing through youth talent at Brinkethin in recent uh, seasons. Can you tell us how important that is, not just to Brinkethin RSC, of course, but to the community game as a whole in Wales? Well, it's massively important. But the thing is, me and myself, I've got two sons. One's on the bench at the moment, the other one's not available tonight. So it's been a pathway for my children to come through and other uh, young members of the community you've got rugby to, to take them along and I think it's massive look, look at what we've got today Fantastic. we've got uh, Bridgen Sports they were uh, winners of uh, 3A they're in the finals as well so yeah it's massive it's mass massive for both sides as well which in the Bridgen community is something to be admired. We're joined now on the vlog by Wales and Osprey Centre and former Brinkethid stalwart uh, Owen Watkins. Thanks for joining us on the vlog, Owen. Fantastic. Now, obviously, a great turnout for the final tonight, and uh, Brinkethid just scored a try. But uh, you know, for somebody who's uh, sort of reaching the pinnacles of the game now, can you put into words what uh, your grassroots and your community club means to you personally? Yeah, for me, Brinkethid sort of done everything in stepping stone of my career. I mean, um, through age grade, they sort of organised buses for watching and support me, and for that, I'm forever grateful. And you know, it's great for these, these 
good boys win this final today. Don't forget the result. We want to pick up the year. It'd be brilliant to play some class yet. Be nice. Hope we get a result today. Now. Fantastic. Well, thanks for joining us on the vlog and enjoy yeah, the game. Joined now on the vlog by Central Glamorgan Chairman, Mr. Cledrin Edwards. Thanks for joining us on the vlog, yeah, Cledrin. Fantastic. Too. Now, um, if we could start with the first question, then what inspired you know uh, the district to launch this new competition? Well, it isn't actually a, a, a new competition. It's something that the district did um, some years ago. But w what we decided was there wasn't anything for the clubs locally. While we have the national competitions and the national leagues, we felt that we wanted to create an interest uh, in Central Morgan. And uh, judging by what has happened so far this season, it's been a, a resounding success. Fantastic. Club, clubs have bought into it. And as you can see the, this evening, there's a fantastic game of rugby being played. It really is a really good game of rugby. And I mean, you know, could you put it into words for us, Cled, how important it is now in the bigger picture, you know, with Wales and Welsh rugby as a whole, uh, experiencing such riches that the community game as well thrives? It's vital. Um, if you haven't got a community game, you won't get the game at the top end. Uh, it's important. And what we feel is uh, possibly missing in recent years within the centre of the Morgan is a, a competition more locally so the people can really get behind it and uh, as a Centre de Morgan, like we've launched um, this season a, a Centre de Morgan team, we played a game up in Cross Keys against Monmouthshire, which again was uh, successful and the, the local clubs bought into it, which is important and I firmly believe there's an appetite in growing these um, sort of competitions in the community game. It's something that's needed. Definitely. <laughs> well, thanks for joining us in the vlog. No problem. And keep up all the good work, Cled. Thank you. Thank all you. the best. Another fantastic season and uh, seeing uh, great uh, club men and stalwarts like Clyde there really brings it all home and uh, Phil and I personally would like to give you all a great heartfelt thank you for tuning in on every vlog and uh, sharing uh, the, uh, the page on Facebook and YouTube and for all your uh, rugby stories up and down the country keep up all the hard work now let's tune in for a bit of the best bits over the course of this season and we look forward to the season 2019-2020 on Gumpy's Grassroots Roundup Welcome to the new season of Gumpy's Grassroots Roundup. I'm Stuart, I'm 38, a data administrator from Patalbat. Can you put it into words? Female vocalist, blah, 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 blah. And if you could put it into words, you know. This time though, no, I got that wrong. Now if you could put it into words, and next up they place, uh, can you put it into words? And pitches in around the help. Uh, can you put it into words? And show their, uh, yes, whatever. Ah! Can you put it into words? In a winner, it's like, is it Clinty, 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 Clinty,